Hello everyone and welcome to English Tips for Finns. In this video I'm going to make 10 observations about Finns and their English skills. And I think the overall theme of the video is this, that the English level of Finns is amazingly high. I'm totally impressed with the way Finns handle English. I think if you could somehow measure how different English is from another language and how people within a country that speak that language speak English, Finns would be way up here. You can't see my hand, but it's way up here. And the next country would be way down here. It's, I really do believe that. So these are just observations I've made from 20 years of living and teaching in Finland. They're not really facts, so you can disagree with them or agree with them or whatever. Please leave all comments in the comment section below and please like, share, and subscribe, and let's get started. Observation number one, Finns speak English freakishly well. Every year, the company English First does a study where they compare the English levels of most of the countries in the world, and Finland finishes near the top every single year. And it's not a very scientific study, but in this case, I think it is pretty accurate. Finland is one of the better English-speaking countries. This year, for example, Finland finished seventh, which is actually low for Finland. The first five were in the same language family as English, the Germanic language family, and they were the Nordic countries. The sixth was Singapore, which is a former British colony. Finland is in the Uralic language family, so it's not even close to the other languages. So it just gives you an indication of how well that Finns speak and how impressive it is that they can. Observation number two. When Finns speak English, the pronunciation is very clear. I can always understand Finns, no matter what level they are at. And I think the reason is, is because in Finnish, there isn't much intonation, and that makes the English sort of more monotone. It's not so sexy, but it's very clear and understandable, and I think that is the most important thing. Observation number three. The English reading levels of Finns is impressive. So I've seen elementary school textbooks, I've seen high school textbooks, and I'm totally impressed with how high level those textbooks are and how much the education system challenges Finns. And even in university, these very complicated textbooks, students are able to handle very well. And that's just because you have an awesome education system and because it's a very literate society in general. Observation number four, the oral comprehension levels of Finns is at a high level. And this is something that is just so impressive to me. Even people who have sort of low level English skills can understand quite a lot. And you have pop culture and you have lack of dubbing to thank for that, I think. Observation number five, the grammar levels are also good considering the huge differences between Finnish and English. And there are huge differences between Finnish and English. And actually there's a lot of similarities, which kind of surprises me how similar they can be. And again, I think you have your excellent education system to thank for that. The main areas of difficulty with grammar are word order, prepositions, and articles in general. Observation number six, Finns small talk better than they think. I did a whole video on Finns in small talk. And it is true, Finns always say they can't small talk, but they small talk all the time. And I small talk all the time with my students. Of course, it depends on the person and there's different levels. And I guess overall it could be a little bit better, but it's much better than people think. Observation number seven, teaching Finns is easy. I have to say, I have a really cool job. I guess it's not always easy, but it's cool. And it's, Finns always say it must be very difficult to teach Finns, but actually the exact opposite is true. It's, the classes always go well. The conversation always flows. There's not awkward silences. Finns in general are learners, so they really want to improve their English and they work hard. So it's, it's a great job. Observation number eight, Finns are great at using curse words. I first visited Finland in December of 1998, and I went to a bar with a friend of mine, and I ended up getting into a conversation with a drunk guy who was sort of low to intermediate level. And what I noticed the most was how amazing he was at using curse words. It's a very difficult skill, but he was able to do it amazingly. And since then, Finns have not let me down. This is something that Finns just have. And probably it comes from pop culture and watching movies and television shows and whatever, but it's an impressive skill. Observation number nine, English gives Finns a license to act more social. And I could be totally wrong about this, and I would love to hear your comments, but I think there is some truth to it. When you're part of this society, you're expected to act in a certain way, of course. It's just the way it goes. And I think English just gives you a little bit of a temporary escape because you're 
expected to sort of act more like the English way. But again, I would love to hear comments because this could be totally off the mark. I'm not sure. Observation number 10. Finns diss the old style of language teaching, but it totally suited the times. So I hear this all the time from students who are about 45 and older, how when they learned they didn't speak enough and all that. But I think at that time you really didn't need to speak. The world wasn't so global in that way. But now it's changing because the world is smaller. It's becoming more global and verbal communication is more and more important. Before you just had to read a lot and understand it in English, but now it's a lot about speaking as well. So have some sympathy for those poor teachers who, you know, had their outdated teaching methods because they weren't so outdated back then probably. <laughs>